This is the tutorial for exercise 4, parallel citations, problem number 10. Just as we have with the previous um, citations, we're going to break this down into pieces and start with the case name. Now this only has case location following the case name because this is a public domain citation. Um, and so the court and date information are bundled into the case location information for public domain citations. So we're going to take this actually in just two pieces. So we'll start with the name, Rodney Bernard Petitioner versus Liberty Northwest Insurance Corporation Respondent. We know from looking at B4.1.1 sub 2 and 1021 G that we're going to uh, get rid of Mr. Bernard's first name, Rodney, and only cite him as Bernard. And we know from Rule 1021 e that we're going to get rid of the word petitioner. So that leaves us with just Bernard. And then on the other side, Liberty Northwest Insurance Corporation respondent. And so we know that we're going to get rid of respondent for the same reason we got rid of petitioner. It's additional uh, labeling, additional descriptive terms for the party. And so we get rid of respondent. And so what we're left with is Bernard versus Liberty Northwest Insurance Corporation. Bernard we know is not going to be in T6 because it's a proper name. Uh, but everything else we probably need to look up in T6. So we look and we see that Liberty is not listed in T6. We see that Northwest is. It's abbreviated as NW period. And so let's take this back to its abbreviation. And then insurance we see is abbreviated INS. And then corporation we see is CORP period. Okay, so now we've eliminated and abbreviated. Now we can italicize, comma, and a space, and now we're ready for the case location. Now again, like I said, this is a public domain citation. And so that is governed by rule 10.3.3. .3. And that rule gives you a basic or a generic public domain citation format if the jurisdiction itself does not have a public domain citation format already. So the first thing we want to do is look in the Montana section of T1, just like we do for all case locations. We're going to look in the Montana section of T1, I mean, yes, T1, okay, Maryland, Michigan, Missouri. Here we are, Montana. And we see that Montana has adopted public domain citation format, so we can use that as our guide and we're not uh, we're not required to rely on 10.3.3. .3. So it shows, uh, the examples show that you give the case name, then you give the public domain information. And so here we have the, um, we have a case from 2008. Uh, it's a Montana Supreme Court case. And so for Supreme Court cases in public domain citation, we give the postal abbreviation for the state. And if we give no other information about the court, then the reader will assume that it's the highest court in the jurisdiction. And so we're good with just the, abbre the postal abbreviation for Montana. So 2008 MT, and then we need the sequential order of the decision, which the problem tells us is 254. So we've got the public domain information there. And now we can move on, comma, and a space, and give the print reporter information. And we see that our document is published in Pacific Reporter 3rd Series. And if you look in the Montana section of T1, you look under Supreme Court, and you see that Pacific Reporter is listed there. And we have three variations. P, P second, and P third for the various series. We're using Pacific Reporter third series for this problem, so it's volume 189, and then P 3D. Now here we don't space between the P and the 3D because 3D 
is treated like a single capital letter. And so just like we wouldn't capital, I mean, we wouldn't space between something like New York or South Dakota or something like that, we don't space between P and the third. So P third, another space, and then the page number 1196. And then we can put a period at the end of that citation because it's completed. The only information that would go in the court and date parenthetical would be the year of decision and the abbreviation for the court. And we've got that information provided for us in the public domain citation. And so that's why you can finish the citation with a period after the print reporter information. And so this is our citation.